All right. We're here, day 291, and we have a very important event going on starting today. Because today is the start of the Kalimdor Cup. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do some races. I got the best deal anywhere. We're going to do some races. Then I'll probably do some more Sholomance, honestly. Can I turn this quest in yet? Is this still bugged? And or just... Oh no, I can turn it in. What now? Dark lady watch over you. Oh, cutscene. It's it's really out of order. It has very little to do with anything that we've been doing. It's like Yeah. Nonsense. Oh, it's this cutscene. It's the cutscene where they actually burn Telter Silk. I'll let it play. Secure the beach. Prepare to invade the tree. <coughs> Why? <coughs> Why? You already won. Only innocents remain in the tree. This is war. No. This is hatred. Rage. <coughs> Windmother. You were defender of your people do you not remember I remember a fool will soon join your loved ones. I grieve for you. You've made life your enemy. And that is a war you will never win. You can kill us. But you cannot kill hope. I won't say it's the biggest war crime in the history of Warcraft, but it's right up there. 
It's right up there. Oh, already got that one. Okay, so where do I go for the Kalimdor Cup? Valdraken. Look, if we start getting into uh, war crimes committed in sci-fi and fantasy, we'll just eventually end up into that argument of uh, Warhammer 40k of which one. There's a liquid in the back of my desk. I think a cat climbed up behind my monitor, my left monitor, and peed on my desk. Why, though? I didn't reach forward anything. Nothing's damaged. I think my... No. Joy-Con's clean. Not very much, it's just a small amount. Okay, that Joy-Con's not clean. That one might not need to be replaced or something. Well, that's... That's not great. My, uh... Emergency power charger might be dead. Um... I will need to physically check that thing. Because that... That might be dead. This, this is something that I didn't expect to find. I just sit down, get started, and there's just pee on stuff. What?
Okay, well that's not fun. It's it's not on anything important. It's not on any of my electronics or anything like that. I mean, the cord for my 3DS is a little bit moist on one end. So I wipe that down. But the only thing that really got messed up is possibly my emergency charger and a handful of cash, like eight dollars. That's I'm not happy about that. Not that anyone would be. Uh, where do I go to? You have arrived always. Who is Endstraws? Okay, I was I was right to think to go over here. The sky Calendar Cup. See you up there. One badge for each achievement. Riders of Azeroth learned much about much from us, and now we test their metal as well as yours. My bronze colleagues have traveled to Kalimdor to create new challenges. These three await you as an introduction to the many across the continent. Keep your feet off the ground. Shoot, pick my mount. Uh, Wilder Drake. Skies and strong winds. Because it's smaller and takes what up less I... of my screen. Strength. My wares were made with knowledge. Go in wisdom. See you up there. Thousand Needles, Ajara, Winter Wander. Okay. Why is it telling me to go to Dazarlor? Oh! To get the portal to Silithus. That makes sense. You are right, game. That that makes sense. Can't, I don't know if it was you, but I kind of doubt it. There's two cats in this house. One is mine, the one you've seen. Hold on, now. Apparently we need to go pick up a flying mount. But yeah, one is mine, the one that you've seen harass me and jump on my lap and just screams at me sometimes. What do you ask of this and the other one... The ...belonged to... ...my grandmother, before she recently passed. And the one that belongs to my grandmother... The sound is very loud here. No, that's right. The one belonging to my grandmother is very antisocial, so I'm kind of expecting that maybe that one jumped up on my desk to get to like the window or something. But to express her anger at me for being here. Decided on pee to pee on something that smelled like me. I mean, didn't hit the keyboard or the mouse or the chair or anything that would smell more like me. Just like a pile of cash in the corner. 
almost peed on my switch, and that would have been upsetting, but no, oh, oh, switch is fine. Switch is dry. One of the Joy Cons might be fun, might be messed up, but that's why I have the Pro Controller over in the corner. Got my Pro Controller on the other side of the desk. So that's not a big deal. Oh, I'm facing a little too far upwards. Yeah, it's a, it's an odd situation, man. I don't I don't I don't get what's going on with that. Not happy about it, but no one's happy whenever they find their stuff's been peed on. Oh, I probably shouldn't be in war mode. Probably shouldn't be in war mode for this. Try the course. That's not what I pushed, but okay. It is kind of what I pushed. No, nope, Thousand Needles is a pretty good spot for this. You're not. I'm not going to lie on that. tight turn they gave you on that one. Okay, we're, I'm going to be going hard at this, by the way. If at all possible, I will be getting gold on all three of the challenges here. Which is normal, hard, reversed. And by... If possible, I mean, like, it's it's going to be possible unless something really crazy happens and I just physically cannot do it. Which I'd be impressed if it was so hard that I physically couldn't do it after multiple tries. But... I have my doubts to it being that hard. Only silver. We serve once more. I shouldn't have sh uh, waffled there. I waffled about which one of those bigger refreshes I wanted to go after. Shouldn't have waffled. Oh no. Oh, oh, that's, that's screw up. Okay, restart.
Nope, screwed that up. Screwed that up real bad. Screwed that up real bad. That's that's the difference between uh, gold and bronze. But I'm really close to the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have lived to see them return. I almost screwed up again, right there. Luckily that little shuffle probably won't impact my time very much. Bye, guy. Ah! That was... that was bad. There was just a little shelf right there that I barely managed to touch. Too bad, that was enough to land. Momentum zero. Start over. Of course, all of the races they've done for content updates and challenges are less of the theme that I like. So I would prefer a very tightly constructed short races. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of endurance races. And that goes and that's true for most racing games and stuff also. I'm not a huge fan of endurance races. I prefer short, tight control races. And almost all the races they've been putting out through content have been much longer. Gold! I right. never gave up hope. Let's hit the reverse. Water spout freaked me out for a second. Just popping up in front of me like that. Gold! Cool. So, Thousand Needles is done. Boy. Oh, right. I'm not allowed to... <laughs> I'm not allowed to fly that out of the... specific thing. Sad times. Disappointment. Um... There we go. This is our achievement. Kalimdor advanced gold.
is our main goal. Oh man, it's every zone, isn't it? I could have just teleported to Orgrimmar and been closer. Let's do that. While I'm in Orgrimmar, I'll go ahead and turn War Mode off just so that I don't have to worry about people uh, screwing with me while doing races. Don't want to get distracted from what I'm doing. Yeah, that's that's a lot of racing. And it's available for two weeks. Well, I plan on going really hard at the Kalendor Cup. I plan on finishing it and getting all these achievements. Because I don't I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. Uh it might be just this one time and then it's gone forever. It might be that it's a monthly thing. It might be a weekly thing. Might be uh, once a year. I don't know. And because I don't know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do the whole thing. I'm going to get the Calendor Cup completionist. I'm going to buy the rewards using the currency they're giving me. What is it called? Riders of Azeroth badge. Not in my pocket, right? I don't see it. Oh, right there. We'll take... Dragon Isle supplies off. Yeah, right there. We got nine. Apparently, there, we need 240 total. We get uh, three per race that we gold. Because you get one for bronze, one for silver, one for gold. So that means each actual zone will give us nine. Plus, the quests will give us another however many. I have lived to see them return. I'm not a huge fan of being close to the, all the little lamps on the raceway. But I'll live with it. I do like the idea of the races uh, showing the opposing faction some of the things they're they're missing. What did I just touch? I, I think I touched a lamp, but my momentum just died. I don't I don't actually know if I touched a lamp. Either way, that's gonna be that's gonna be a. Uh, this this one's over. This one's done. I'm gonna need to redo this. As I was saying, I, I do enjoy the idea of being able to show off some of the environmental features that are commonly seen by one faction. Wow, I still got a gold on that. 
That was generous. The Isles have awakened. Could have used a, uh, rise for that. I didn't know where I was going exactly. Oh, I hit a lamp again. That's, that's dead. That, that's dead run. Not a fan of those lamps. Not a fan of those lamps at all. Nope, I touched the ground. Restart. Yeah, due, due to how the lamps are, there's going to be a constant drive to stay as far away from the actual raceway as physically possible. For exactly that reason right there. Right there, that reason. Because you can just nick one of the lamps and your your flight is just dead you lose all momentum it's over i expect that's what happened to me just a minute ago but i'm gonna finish this round to at least see the end of the race and who knows maybe it's super super generous even on hard No, I got bronze. Yeah, okay, this this might actually be really tough, man. Seriously? We serve once more. Seriously? I had like a second left on my tag. A lot of my time save on this will probably come from straighter lines. Because this is a long run. Straight lines, avoid lamps. Let's 
silver. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Yeah, it wants me to make up a lot of time for that. I'm gonna say that I think another second and a half is probably doable, but it's not comfortable by any means. Yeah. Okay, we apparently crushed that. I apparently made up three seconds, which is pretty great. Alright, now for the reverse course. Biggest chance, the biggest issue of takeoff getting the uh, global cooldown to obey what you're trying to do. I screwed that up, but I kind of recovered. I like blinked, forgot where I was, didn't know where I was going. <laughs> kind of fixed it. Gold. Okay, cool. And that was a pretty good time. It's not surprising that your time increases as you... Your time gets better as you get familiar with the route. Surprise. Why am I tagged again? Last one is in winter spring. Two out of sixteen.
By the way, that should be 18. Yeah, 18 tokens. I think I saw that it was 50. Hmm. 50 tokens for each of the customizations. The Isles welcome you. This is why I don't like those amounts when doing races. Can't see squat past them. You want me to move my mouse pretty far for that one. I thought I was getting to the end right there, but no, we got a little while left for that. Okay, gold! The Isles have awakened. Okay, so every time I touch this, every time I start a race, it resets my PvP tag. Switched a little bit there. Kind of got off center. Into the canyon. That is a tricky little maneuver they have you do there, getting out of the canyon. Go! Alright, let's hit the reverse. Oh no, can't see anything. So, there's a point after we exit the canyon that I'm a little bit spooked of because we're entering a forest with very low visibility. Right after that. Okay, it's not that bad. Never mind. Silver. I uh, only, only by a little bit, though. Okay, that... Look, that could have been an, a rounding error <laughs> as far as victory was concerned with gold. Not actually. But we gotta make up a second, roughly.
I think that's super doable. be a little bit more brave around the trees. Sure to make a little more time up. Sure feels like it. Nah, it did make a little time up, but not enough. Fourth of a second. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't like that. Didn't like that. Let's try again. Nope. Even like like that less. Okay, so there's there's these trees here. That Okay, there's there's a little bit of a gap right there that's kind of doable, but that's real tough, man. That's real tough. Aspects gray shine down on you. I, I nicked a branch. This branch right here. Nope. Hit the tree. We'll take it. We'll take it. I feel like I'm going slow. I feel like I'm going quite slow right now. Garbage. I think they hit a branch. Or they were just removed by the game to not cloud my vision. Hard to tell sometimes. Did I get that vigor refresh? I think the answer was no, I didn't.
bronze again. The Isles have awakened. Man. I feel like I lose a lot of momentum right there. It just feels bad. I really wish they would give you a, a redo button instead of making you land and talk to the person again. That section also feels really bad. tipped that tree right there. Okay, I actually feel pretty good about my speed right here. Silver still. The Isles have That's awakened. really tough, man. Yeah, okay, can't trust that. I want to take a shortcut through those trees. I really do. But it's just so... So tight of a timing. And so small of a window. I'm going to take that and say it's fine. Granted, I'm out of vigor. And that means that I'm going slow. Which means that this is a lost run. Granted, there are tricks that your mind and video games do to make you think you're going slower or faster than what you are and it's all a matter of perception so it could be that i'm actually going super fast on that particular th spot but it doesn't feel like it i think i was going slow i think i was going quite slow and that we'll see a major difference but yeah i i was going quite slow Aspects gray shine down on you. What what just happened? Oh, okay. I wasn't Whatever I was 
I was mousing over, I wasn't actually looking down. Dead. Dead. People are saying that, uh, in the chat down there, that they're getting more essence by going close to the ground. But that should be noted, that you only get essence when close to the ground if you're not going fast enough. If you're going fast enough, then it doesn't stack with the close to ground buff. So yeah, long story short, don't, don't be trying to get close to the ground as your method of recovering vigor, because you're only going to get vigor if you're going slow. And you don't want to be going slow. make up basically two seconds. And I don't know where I'm going to get that from. I can narrow my lines a little bit more, probably. Maybe using the Skyward Ascent right there is bad. Maybe that slows me down. Right there it sped me up. Maybe it's just on the context of when I use it. That's probably more accurate than anything else I can think of. Gold! There we go. There we go. Ah. That was tough. That one was tough. But we got there. We got there. We're good. We're moving on to the next part.
fare the winds today? Fair skies and strong winds. Greetings. That gives me 30... Oh, it's 50 for this one. For the Velocidre teal scales, okay. What's, what's this outfit look like? Hiccups. Go with okay, so I have been introduced to the Kalimdor Cup. So I'm assuming I am now free. Just go do the rest of them. Let's go ahead back to the Zarlor to Silithus. I would love for my tag to fall off, but due to the fact that it refreshes absolutely every time I do anything, it's just not going to fall off. It's just not going to. I'd have to basically just sit in the corner for five minutes. Sit in the corner, not allowed to do anything, stop touching things. Wait. Oh no, is this actually going to be in the ruins of Ankaraj? It probably is. Oh, Oldham has one also. I might actually do that five minutes wait in the corner. I might just go ahead and take a pee break but before I do that I'm gonna get way up in the sky oh no this is okay look a race through the ruins of Ankaraj is terrifying to me because that's some narrow corridors right there. That's some tight, narrow corridors. You're going to have to do some pretty pinpoint turns on. Why did all my buttons turn off? Oh! Oh! There's protection around... Maybe there's not. I don't know. Why, just, why do all my buttons turn off right here? Why am I silenced in this particular spot in the air? If I go lower... It goes away. Does it go away if I get higher? Yes. Okay, why is there a a pillar of silence in this location? In the air. It would make sense if it went all the way to the skybox and all the way down. Or even just down, and not up, but it goes up and down, so that's weird. Either way, I'll, I'll be right back.
All right. Let's find out if I survive. Three, two, one. Okay, we're fine. All right, so this this sounds on the very front of it like it might be a terrible time. Don't like that. Don't like that. I guess they ran out of room in the actual ruins. Don't. I have lived to see them return. Let's say, when do you give me vigor refreshes on this race? Not often. They they starve you of res starve you of resources in this one. They don't want you using those that vigor very much. They want you to go slow. Man, the Isles just completely starved of resource through all of that. I need to make up two seconds? Two and a half seconds? Just ouch. That that uh, rising ascent was a bit twitchy. A bit rough. And out of vigor. Just dead in the air. Gone. That's not enough to make it to the end. That's it. Excuse me, it's enough to make it to the end? Barely. But this is gonna be br bronze or below. There's, there's no way. Wow, where do I get the vigor, though? Where do I get the vigor, man? <laughs> I never gave up hope. That's real rough.
Okay. That was almost it. That was almost it. Point, point oh six seven. But that's still, like, a really uncomfortable race. This is, this is a sightseeing tour. Just as much as it is a race. Gotta go slow. I missed. I missed it. I cut that corner a little too sharply. Okay, we got gold. That one... I've got gold by a large margin, too. I'm not... I'm not a huge fan of this race. I'm not. This is real... Mmm. I didn't need to wiggle as much as I did right there. That's wasted movement. Hopefully that is... Good enough. Oh no. Oh, but we got gold. Okay. I'm... I'm not a big fan of that one. I'm not a big fan of the Anchorage circuit. I, that one... That one I could go without. Um, but we need to go to Old Doom next. I say it going to right there. Oh, keep running. Keep going. Didn't mean to cancel auto run. Oh, that reminds me. Don't I need to win a pet battle here for an achievement? Isn't, isn't that a thing?
Time Rift. Or Time Bomb, I should say. Okay, well, I don't know if that was actually for an achievement. I could have sworn that that was one of the things I was missing, was beat a pet battle in this zone. Win a pet battle in this zone. So I'll just pretend that that was worth doing and continue on about my business. kind of curious about how this race is going to go, but, you know, I could say that about most of these races. Aspects grace shine down on you. making you go through those trees, aren't they? Okay, that was a little bit wobbly because I, uh, touched... I touched a, uh, tree or something. The archway, I think. There's a lot of really tight and sensitive corners in this race. That... The this one could be quite annoying. This one could be quite annoying. Granted, that just completely depends on how generous the timer is. Over. Serve once more. Three seconds. How do you make three seconds May on that? The flights protect us. Three and a half, roughly.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Don't be afraid of the windmill. Okay, gold. I would say I used my last vigor a little too I soon right there. Awakened. But that's okay. Now it's time for reverse. Which a lot of times is the hardest version. Oh, he landed. I saw that. Went a little too low. Now I need a Rising Ascent Vigor at the end of this. But they are a little bit stingy on the Vigor for right here. I need to save basically the same amount of time as I did on the advance. I need to save about two and a half seconds. This, like the Encourage race, starves you of vigor quite a lot. I didn't get a Skyward Ascent there, because I was apparently on global cooldown. But I can live with that. Because it did give me another, another Vigor for use over here. And one Vigor can make all the difference in the world. I can only think that tightening up my lines is probably my best bet right now. That was a good Skyward.
Oh, I hit a building right at the edge there. Oh, that's painful. I hit a tree. That's it. That's over. Too slow to finish now. Finish with any kind of... And then I hit another tree. Any kind of good score, at least. Look, there's one thing that video game races have that makes them more difficult than uh, real life races. There's only one. And that is, when you hit a limb of a tree in a real life race, a lot of times the limb will just break. You'll get slowed, you'll get knocked off course, you might get hurt real bad. But... If the li limb is weak enough, or if it hits the right part of your vehicle, or yourself, the limb just snaps off, and you don't get slowed down at all. And that's not true in video game, where running into a tree limb is the same as running face first into a brick wall. Got it. Got it, got it. Okay, Ungoro is next. Oh. That's five out of sixteen, I believe is how I counted it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Five out of sixteen. So eleven more. We do have enough coins at this point for the Velocidrake teal scales, which was the most expensive of the, of the rewards. race is apparently right over on the side over here. How much of the race is just going to be running around Lava Plume Ridge? Or the trees in the Raptor Forest? Aspects Grey shine down on you. I didn't really expect the, the start of this, oops, to just be the environment. I didn't even hit that. Let's, okay, let's, let's call that one off. 
<laughs> Let's try that again. I kind of expected it more to go through the forest, not around the edges. Because there's not a lot of fun sights around the edges. I mean, there's the Devil Sword Queen right there. That's that's neat. I mean, if you're going for challenge, the edge is probably the more correct choice. So I'll give you that. I think I missed it. I think I missed the speed boost right there. Yeah, I don't... I don't completely agree with the idea of making the Ungoro race just a race around the absolute edge. I think that's kind of boring. Ooh. Okay. We serve once more. But, is what it is. Okay, you know, I probably should have hit that rock. I'll take it, but I probably screwed up there and should have hit that rock. Yeah, this is this is kind of a boring race. It feels like it's it's positioning being on the rim here is there only for difficulty, not for uh, anything else. So uh, this right this race doesn't show you any of the sights. It doesn't show you anything interesting. You just kind of uh, see the rim of the zone. You don't, you don't see Fireplume Ridge, like the biggest standout feature of the zone. You don't see the hot springs. You, you barely see the tar pits right there. 
I actually hit the rock that time. You see the Devil Sword Queen. That's neat. I did it again. Okay, that that rock I need to be more careful of. If you do something more than once, then it's clearly your fault. What just happened? Okay, what I don't know what that takeoff was. But I clearly did not go down. I went like forward, straight forward. Okay, the rock is coming up right after the dive here. I'll just take it as one of those where uh, if I have a good enough line, then I won't hit the rock. If I hit the rock, it's because my line is bad. I honestly don't even know how I made that so much slower. I didn't... I wasn't holding forward enough. Beware the rock.
I actually feel pretty good about this one. But I have no idea what the speed is. In comparison. Almost gold. Almost. Not quite. Ah. I have lived to see that. It was close. It was really, really close. That's uh, less than one vigor difference. That's one line being slightly more straight. Jiggles against the wall, wall a little bit right there. Beware the rock. There are quite a few places that Skyward Ascent could be used here. But I'm afraid of using it in very different locations. Just due to how things are placed around the rings. I, I ran out of vigor. That might mean that I was uh, going too slow. Or overusing the vigor. Yeah, that one didn't feel good. Going way too slow. Oh, I hit reverse. Oh, well, we're doing reverse then. Why did it go forward? It's fine. That little boost forward didn't make much of a difference. Hopefully it won't be the difference between silver and gold. Hopefully I'll get like a, a hard silver and that small thing won't make a difference. But I, you know, prefer just to get gold in one. Where the rock. I ran right into that. I I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. I ran straight into it. I did the thing again.
running out of vigor might be a sign that I'm going too slow. I didn't see it eat that time either. I, I, I'm just blind to that rock, apparently. I am apparently just blind to that rock. We serve once more. Because it was just straight up invisible to me. descent right there. Yeah, that, that ascent was bad. That was a really bad ascent. Is Ungoro going to be the, the rock that I slam my head into? Is this the brick wall? Yeah, like right there's a pretty good spot for ascent. Okay, that ascent worked a little bit better. Still not confident that was a good idea. But I am going quite fast right now. Still need need a the ton of time still. <sighs> Out of all the places to get stuck on races, Ungoro was not one of the ones I was expecting. But I I think what it is is that the the people who designed the races for uh, the Dragon Isles. Uh, designed them for everybody. And that's the idea of a lot of the stuff in the Dragon Isles, is that the Dragon Isles is basically the the newcomer's expansion. They, they, they designed a lot of stuff to be new player friendly. Uh, at the same time... Yeah, I don't I don't like that ascent. I'm not going to ascend there anymore. Why 
once they they realized they were too nice with the races in the Dragon Isles, they just started making them really hard. Like, aggressively hard for all of the content updates. And making them longer in addition to more, more difficult. Start whirling surge normally. Use up all your vigor right at the start is not something I like to see. Granted, I find nice. I find very u little use for whirling surge in the races because it's it just doesn't give you much. You maintain speed longer with just a flap. So what I mean by that is that the flap isn't, like, just over the moment you push the button. You don't get a single boost and it just wears off. No. Uh, it actually maintains your speed until the animation finishes. So you get a speed boost through the entire animation of flap. Skyward right there. Uh, Skyward is the same. You get a speed boost through the entire animation of Skyward. Now, Skyward is more upwards momentum than it is forward momentum. But it's still there. Whirling... Whirling whatever it is. Whirling Surge. Uh, does not give you momentum continuing for the whole animation. In the same way. Like it does. But the amount of top distance you travel with Whirling Surge is less than with Flap or with Skyward Ascent. As far as I can tell. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have any confidence in that run. So, like, if I open this one with it... Yeah. And I couldn't flap until I hit that. Meanwhile, if I hit... Yeah, it ate all of my vigor and I couldn't flap until I got to the vigor recharge. Meanwhile, if I start with flap, flap twice, and flap again, and flap again, and there, I've, I've more than made up with any amount of advantage the Whirling Surge gave me. By a long shot. Just by having the extra vigor further into the race. Do not start with whir Whirling Surge. I could understand ending with Whirling Surge. If you just so happen, at the end of the race, to have three vigor. Ran out of vigor. I ran out of vigor again. Am I going too slow on this? I might be going too slow. My lines feel really messy. Not gonna lie. I missed it. I missed the ring. Well, none of that matters. Because I missed the ring.
I don't know what happened right there, but it was a bit weird. It was almost like my uh, animation got cancelled. Honestly, one of the issues I'm having is that I'm just not finding many opportunities to straighten out my lines. Because there's some very specific locations that I gotta be at. Hmm. Man, it's just... Ah, this one's really hard to tell how fast I'm going. It's really, really tough. The only way I can possibly tell how fast I'm going right now is if I'm running out of vigor. The moment I start running out of vigor, I'm like, okay, I'm going too slow. And once you're there, you can't catch back up. You can't, because they don't give you enough to give you any of that back. There's no making up time on this. The welcome you. Oh, it did it again. Holding forward the whole time. And it still propelled me directly forward rather than tilted down. I'm running out of vigor. That means I'm probably going too slow. But with reverse, it's not as tightly designed as 
normal. Well, actually, it is now, isn't it? Because whenever reverse was first added, it wasn't as tightly designed. But now, reverse is part of the main de design philosophy for races. But yeah, sometime with with reversed, uh, because of the distribution of resources. It's a bit of a mess. Well, I got the reverse gold. Oh, the reverse gold is easier! The reverse gold is easier than the advanced gold. And that score wouldn't have gotten me the advanced gold. No, I'm, I'm restarting that. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm going slower than him. So where was he getting that speed? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't feel confident in this. Where did he get that speed? Where did it come from? Do I just need to go really hard on flaps at the very beginning there? No, I don't feel like I'm going much faster. I feel I'm go going slower. I'm running out of vigor. Slightly better, but still don't feel good about this. Ran out. Ran out. Where am I missing these these cuts? Where am I missing the, the room? Where where am I missing the bits and pieces where I can get some speed? I did well once, and I haven't even gotten remotely close Aspects ever since. Shine down on you. Where am I missing the speed? Where where is it? I'm running out already. I'm already running out of vigor. Did I miss that? Okay. I don't know, I've just... I'm just not really seeing it on this race. I'm not seeing it. 
Not seeing where I need to go, where I can cut things down. A lot of the cut... A lot of the lines are hidden behind terrain. And that's tough. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's really what it's going to come down to for this one. Is that my lines aren't clean enough. And until I can see where to clean those up, I'm just not going to do well. Yeah, that, that ascent just feels bad. Maybe it's correct. Because I feel like I'm going fast now. But it just feels bad as as a place to use it. I still ran out. And I hit... <laughs> ah! I didn't even see that there. I didn't see it at all. See, I, I have much better speed now. Well, I guess I better not mess up this run. Still ran out of vigor. Still ran out. Again. Close. I, I got that speed, and I think I know how I got it. Um, no, 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 that's not the one I want. That's not the one I need. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Get me off. No, cancel it. No, cancel it. I don't need reverse. I need advanced. Okay, I think I know how I got that speed boost. Mmm, that doesn't feel like it. No, it's not. Okay, restart. Okay, so what it felt like, what happened, is that I had a good enough start that I had a vigor right before the section where I used Skyward Ascent. Yeah, how did he get a faster start than me? And I chained... Yeah. Where's... Where do you get that speed, man? Where do you get it? I don't know where he got... Oh, is he doing normal? But yeah, I did Skyward Ascent into a flap. And it felt like that gave me a bunch of speed and I have no idea where it came from. 
This feels bad. This feels real bad. This doesn't feel like a successful run. Well, it wasn't anywhere close to my worst, but I still need a whole second. I need to find a whole second in there somewhere. missed that. I just flat missed it. Nope. I saw it coming. Ran out of vigor. I think I mismanaged my vigor right there. That, I think I shouldn't have run out right that moment. Way faster than me. Way faster than me. But it's always possible he was doing normal, not advanced. Nope. I just did terribly. Ah! I'm so inconsistent on this race. I'm terribly, awfully inconsistent. Welcome you. We're talking a plus or minus of five seconds on from one race to another for me. Just getting absolutely trashed by it. I don't like using that vigor right there. 
I, I double used a vigor, and I think that was a bad idea. I double flapped. I don't feel good right here. I feel terrible. Yeah. That, that whole thing felt pretty bad. Not gonna lie. The Isles have awakened. Okay, like right there, it felt like I got faster off of that one. But I don't know what I did exactly to make it that way. And I don't and I've already lost it. Yeah, and now I'm out of bigger. But, I've recovered that a little bit here. I'm no longer running out of vigor. Got plenty of it. This part feels real good. This part feels like I, I recovered. Right up until I slam my face in the wall right, there, right at the end. Okay, so what exactly did I do that changed things? I, it was, I never gave up hope. It was the Skyward Ascent. It was so, at some point, I... I hit Skyward Ascent. Oh, that... No. It did that thing where it didn't actually go downward just threw me straight forward. I don't know, this one's felt pretty good, but I don't know if it is pretty good. Okay, good. Ah! That one. That one was rough. That one was rough. Real, real rough. Okay.
one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Okay. Okay. Mm. That one, that one was, was difficult. That one was pretty, pretty bad. Is there one in Tenaris? I don't see one for some for Tenaris. We did Thousand Needles. So Feralis is next. Oh. There's clouds coffee in. Oh. Man, I need, I need a snack. I need a snack. I don't have any food for my prepped for myself today. Might just have a bowl of cereal or some ramen or something. You know? Some ramen doesn't even t sound that bad. Feel so slow after riding the dragon for a while. <laughs> oh yeah, not. I'm not a huge fan of the the Ungaro one for various reasons that I'd said. Not that it's overtly more difficult. Just because it doesn't show you anything. You just see the the outer rim the whole time. Your your camera is constantly facing the outside rim for almost the entire thing so all you see is the stones and the, and the wall the whole time it's not great man that's not great that's a rather boring visually visually that's a rather boring one. um for alice honestly it might be boring just because you're just gonna see trees the whole time <laughs> but then again if it doesn't i don't know i i have a feeling that it might go more over here than it goes over here and the there's the two plateaus the twin sisters or something over here The, the Thousand Needles one was interesting because you're on the water the whole time. And you got these big stone spires. And Thousand Needles has always been one of the zones that I rather liked. So maybe I'm a little bit biased on that one. But yeah. So so let's 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 find out. Let's, Aspects grace. Let's see how this works. Down on you. Because I'm expecting to see Dire Maul. Nope, I was right the first time. We're going over to the Welp Tree. Ooh, where are we going? Now we're on top of Dire Mall. Okay. Okay, well, we, we did meet Dire Mall. Only got halfway to the Welp Tree. That's interesting. Just put that ring right where you're just going face first into the ruins. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. I'm right at the end. Yeah, that... Oh, I still got gold. Okay. That's... 
there's some real rough spots in that. There's some real rough spots in this. Um, let's see how well I do on the advanced course. Because I have dubious feelings about this one. They drag you along the road until right over here, where they expect you to go upwards. And then through Dire Mall. Out of vigor. They starve you a bit here. Then you have the tree. Starved. Completely out of vigor. Just gone. Momentum empty. Yeah, that's it. That's over. Oh. Yeah, I don't... The first half of it, I rather like. Follow the road. Head through some ruins. Say hello to Dire Mall. Up and down over the walls. But then you get to the ogre half of it. I guess Dire Mall is filled with ogres, so... Well, you get to the second half. And... It feels like you're expected to have uh, saved up vigor for that. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Ah! Nope. That's dead. That's dead in the water. Let's hope that I can be clean enough on this to save up vigor just like last time. I'm not going very fast right now. I don't like that. That guy's got me beat a lot on speed. That's not great. And all the saved up vigor is gone. Because you just get completely star starved of vigor throughout right here. No refills. All the way up to this tree. And then past. Yeah, and that's your first refill. We serve once more. I almost made it. If I could have saved one more vigor from early on. But I can't go too slow. I've got to keep up the, the forward momentum. If I could leave Dire Mall with two Vigor left, that'd be great. The only way I'm possibly going to be able to do that is through some clean lines. There it is, it's gone. That's my only vigor refresh until we exit these ruins.
tagged a tree right there. But we got the gold. The Isles welcome you. Now the reverse. I expect the reverse here to actually be a bit easier than the than the normal, just because the part that starves you of vigor is at the beginning. So you get the benefit of the three starting vigor. Granted, I say that, but you're still starved throughout all this, too. And you don't get any of the benefits of this, so now maybe I'm wrong. Now, I wouldn't think this is gold. I would think this is a bronze. <laughs> because I completely ran out of resource and went to basically default speed. But I also wouldn't be surprised with the silver. Yeah. I can't make a tight enough turn to land. Okay, so, instead of getting starved right at the end, you get starved throughout the beginning and most of Dire Maul. So you're actually starved for a longer amount of time on refills, going in reverse. Doesn't help that you're heading uphill for the Dire Mall sex section. So you're actually losing speed constantly. I really shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have wasted my second vigor on Skyward Ascent. But it might have been worth it. I have vigor now. And I'm getting refreshes again. So it might have been worth it. And I didn't ever... I didn't... I didn't at any point go completely dead on Vigor. To where I defaulted speed. Nope. Same speed. Almost the exact same time. The waters flow. not fast enough. It's not fast enough. How do I find this speed?
I really want to use the Skyward Ascent there, but I'm having a hard time finding the time for it. Okay, we got it gold. We got it gold! Okay. That's for Alice. And for Alice. Ugh. Okay. Desolus has, has a place. Mulgore does not. Southern Barons has a place. So let's head to the Southern Barons. Uh, Duswallow does not. Southern Rare as it is. Northern Baron does not. Okay, Southern Barons to Desalus. Uh, Stone Talon. Ashen Vale. No to Darkshore. Yes to Fellwood. Hyjal. No for Moonglade, no, no to tell Brazil. Oh, it would be such a prize for them to add a race to Azure Mist or Blood Mist Isle. I would find both of those hilarious. Where's when's the Eastern Kingdoms Cup? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no. Is Southern Baron's Razorfin? Razorfin ran out. Oh no. Oh no. Look, I hear that it's gonna be Razorfin. I that's a bad thing to me. That's not a good thing. That sounds like pain, not entertainment. Because there's going to be a lot of loopy loops and thorns. Grace shine down on you. I think I hit a thorn. I definitely hit a thorn right there. So I like this one. In theory, I missed I missed the big, bigger refill. I like this one in theory. I like it visually. I enjoy the little going through the thorns thing, but I also know that that's difficult. This one's gonna require more precision. And if it's like some of the others they've been putting us through, we're not gonna have much in the way of length to rescue us. It's still going to be just as long as so many of the other ones. Got it in gold! Okay, so it is shorter. It is shorter. Go with the aspect. That's helpful. That's nice. Nice. 
Not a fan of that. I touched something and it killed my momentum a bit. That was still gold? Okay, they're they're pretty generous on that one. That's that's pretty generous. Still need to do it in normal. I okay. Lived to see them return. Ah. It it seems like they didn't have confidence that people would be able to make through without at least one tagging of something. At least one little impact. So they made the timer a little more generous. That one, short, sweet, precise, I like that one. I actually quite enjoyed that one. Uh, Great Divide, okay, Southern Barons has two. Okay, I can, I can speed the timer, I can speed the travel time on this one up slightly by teleporting to Thunderbluff. We are halfway through. And if there are more that are the length of the, the Razor Fen, not the length of length of uh, Ungoro, we might be able to do it without too much crazy time investment. Granted, I'm three hours in on this. I'm halfway done at three hours in. Which, to be fair, just means that I finish tomorrow. Instead of it taking two weeks. And granted, uh, it is one of those things where you're not meant to just go super hard at it. They give you two weeks so that you have time to do it. But no, it must be done. I must do it. I will win. I will do good. But then again, once they do the races for the Eastern Kingdoms, it's going to be just as long. It's going to be another 16 races or something like that. My man. The Isles welcome you. For dragon kind. Oh, okay. Hold on now. That was a... <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect just a steep, straight nosedive there.
No! Okay, restart. This is just normal, man. Okay, I want to try to stay a little bit upwards. see. This is a sightseeing adventure. Granted, I don't really like throwing us through a bunch of blind corners. There's quite a few blind, or somewhat blind, spots in this one. Too soon. What are you doing over there? I can't look right now. Like that's that's kind of lame to have this that moment there where you're just completely blind. And they expect you to know that you need to turn slightly. That's real rough. Cat, what are you doing? I'm trying to sit on my pile of used bottles? Mao? We serve once more. Some of these turns will make me want to turn my Mouse sensitivity even higher. I would say that feels slightly better in reverse. Granted, I've got to be af afraid of the sudden ascent at the end of this part right here. No, it was too high. It was too much. I went too hard. That's it. That's, oh, that's painful. For there to be another spot, another uh, ring, right there at the top of the hill on reverse is really, real t tough.
Watch that branch. With how many obstacles there are for this one, they might be a little bit more generous on time. No, I still hit the ground! Aspects grace shine down on If I didn't hit the ground, that might have been okay. But I didn't hit the Vigor Refresh. I don't... Being a Vigor short for the entire rest of the race is not a great thing. And it's especially noticeable right there, because normally I have two saved up at this point. is so close to the ground. I only needed to actually get there once. I actually only needed to get there without touching the ground once. Okay. Done with that. Oh, there's there's Durotar. Yep, yep, sure there is. I just didn't see it. Ah, okay. Yes, I should. It's fine. Oh wait, nope, nope. Just, just teleport back to Thunderbluff. That'll be the fastest way to do it. Next race is the Great Divide. Great Divide. Webwinder Weave sounds like that's going to be Stone Talon. Well, all the rest of them have their names in it. The zone names in it, so yes. Ninety-one.
we're starting over next to the Alliance base, and I'm assuming we're going all the way down. And then back. I don't know if we're gonna be in the... We serve once more. In the ravine the whole way. And the whole way back is the way I'm, is the one I'm questioning it. Are we gonna be in the ravine on the way back? They actually gave us some, some setup hazards here. Okay. So we didn't go all the way down. We come over through the, uh... Emerald... The Emerald Forest. The Emerald Dream leaking through. Okay, that's that's a pretty short one. I have lived to see them. Uh, it's pretty pretty short. Uh, actual hazards is probably why they're say they've made it so short. It's because there's actual hazards, but these hazards aren't actually that bad. That was just a silver, that wasn't a gold. Yeah, I'm not surprised that they went really tight on the timing there. But that just means I flap slightly more often. I mean, to be fair, the reason I probably didn't get gold right there was because I was giving the hazards too much space. I was probably giving the hazards too much respect when I didn't need to. Point zero five one. Ah. The aisles have I should I should have gotten that one. I should have got that one. Get one or two lines straightened up, and these will both be gold. Not an issue. Say that felt real good. That felt real good. I have lived to see them return. I don't need to be reluctant to spend vigor. On this section, there's plenty of vigor refills. That said, I can save one or two for when we actually enter the divide. That didn't happen. There we go. Gold! Okay. Divide. 
divide. Divide. Okay. Uh, next one is actually in Durotar. So we can just hearth to Orgrimmar. Well, actually, given how far away from Orgrimmar it is, we can just fly over. Because it's about the same distance. Okay, so we have... Six more. I'm guessing there's completionist... Yeah, there's completionist silver and gold also. So... What's gonna happen is that we're getting nine tokens for each of these. We're getting nine, nine reward tokens for each one. But once we get the last race done, we're gonna hit... Uh, Kalimdor Bronze. Which is going to give reward. And Kalendor Silver. Which is going to give reward. And Kalendor Gold. Which is going to give reward. Then we're going to get... Uh, advanced Gold. Bronze. That's a reward. Advanced Silver. Advanced Gold. Then Reverse Bronze. Reverse Silver. Reverse Gold. And then Completionist. Completionist Silver. Completionist Gold. So those are all also going to be uh, tokens. Assuming that all the things statement of you get a token for each achievement. And it's not just each achievement, it's each stage of each achievement. Alright, Durotar. Valia Trials. Oh wow, there's a bunch of people here. Hit a tree. Oh wow, okay. They, they're really putting you through the paces on that. And we're going to the aisles? Okay. And another tree. And I'm stuck. Physically stuck in the tree. Alright, not not a fan of all of those trees. I hope they're really generous on the time for this one, because this one man. More things to run into than the razor fen ones. <laughs> And more tight corners. Not a fan of that tree. Not a fan of that ring placement. rough. They are not being nice about those trees. All the way over here? Okay. Okay. 
bad. That... I have lived to see them return. Wow, okay, that's... I was talking about real hazards. And I meant that the little hazards they put up specifically for racing. The little, little fire elementals with their fire bubbles. Uh, the stun bubbles. The arcane stun bubbles. Those real hazards. But terrain hazards are and always will be far more of an issue. Trees, single branches will reach out and halt your progress. And that's a bad time. I can abuse the vigor a little bit here. Gold! Okay. And now for the reverse. I never gave up hope. Mm. I think they're pretty aware of what they've done here, because the timer on this one seems to be a little bit more generous than some of the others. As I would expect. I ran into that tree pretty hard, and I hit a branch. I'm not moving. Let me see all the peoples, but in like Dark Souls soul form, okay? I want to see their ghosts doing these races. that game called no nope. hit a branch this is this is why the timer is generous this is why the timer is generous is because you're not gonna lose based on time you're gonna be lose based on terrain. You're just gonna run into stuff. And that's gonna stop you and make you start over. So I'll probably get gold on my first time being successful. It'll just take a couple tries to get successful, you know? There's, there's trees in the way. Ah. That was bad. 
it tried to propel me forward instead of down. I haven't found exactly how to get through that area cleanly yet. The seer stone just tagged me. I ran out of vigor. Now I don't have confidence in getting gold. Ah! We serve once more. There's so many things to run into. And the and the seer stone. Whatever it's actually called. The, the place where you use the earth sight potion for a shaman quest. Yeah, that that stone actually just not, a, not existing until you're close enough is pretty rough also. That, that ate a lot of momentum, but I'm still going. It wasn't enough for me to just call it and restart. And that felt like about the same. I have I, lived I'm running out of vigor return. right near the end. And and that Come on, man. Never and that's what hope. shouldn't be happening. Hello? Okay, there we go. Makes all the difference in the world once I find clean ways of getting through areas. That might be the cleanest way of getting through that spot right there, is just to make the hardest right turn. Nope, I, I hit the tree there. That ate a lot of momentum. That's probably it for this run. as I said before, speed isn't as much issue as just clean lines in spite of many hazards. Trees.
There's my gold. Yes. Okay. Zero tar. Zero tar. Zero tar. So now is Ashenvale. And it'll be faster for me to teleport to Thunder Bluff and fly from there. Wait, it's not Ashenvale, it's Stone Talon next. Which is even more of a reason to teleport to Thunder Bluff. Oh, there's two in Hyjal. I just noticed over here that one says Nordrasil and Hyjal. I'm like, wait, Nordrasil? This is Teldrassil. This is Nordrasil. Because for just a moment, I was like, wait, is there one over at da over at Darnassus? That would be neat. No. No, there's not. There's just two up on the world tree. Where's my guy? There's my guy. The waters Hi, my guy. Again. Aspects watch over you. Also, that's a lot of trees. How long is this one? I'm not a huge fan of them just putting us through the middle of the biggest trees possible, but there's the gold. Pike I know that's I know that's the normal race, but that was a big gap. That was a big gap for gold. Okay. Oh trees. Trees, 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 trees. I did not feel confident doing a forward surge, or forward flap thing, whatever it's called. Because if I hit that at that moment, I would have rammed straight into the wall. Okay. That one's nerve-wracking. That one's actually pretty ner nerve-wracking, not gonna lie. Aspects okay. shine down on you. But one and done. So let's hit that reverse. And also one and done it. Nope. Nope, right, right on... Oh! I didn't even hit the big tree like I thought. I'm actually on top of a tinier tree. <laughs> I'm 
trees. Trees do difficulty make. I don't know where I'm going. Well, hey, that section's easier in reverse, because you can actually see all the rings. Cool. Cool. Quick. Maybe not easy. But done. Oh. That one's stressful. That one's actually pretty stressful. Oh, four more. Four more. If I don't get stuck on any, we're good. And we'll be done. Up to 118. I mean, technically, I haven't even gotten one achievement from this yet. Because the the earliest achievement you can get is, is Kalimdor Bronze. I, I really enjoy that he has the same sight range as world bosses. Because obviously I can't see any, like, random mobs. You can actually see the wyvern down there. But I can't see random mobs so I'm looking down. But I can see him. Because he has the same rules as a world boss. Where once you're in the zone, you can see him no matter the distance. And that is interesting to me. I never gave up hope. Okay, Ashen More trees. How much of a pain in the butt are you? area. Get to meet Tree Guardian. Ancient Wisdom, I think that one is. Oh, gotta watch that. The bow tagged me. Very, very low to the ground. Now, Ashenvale's very, very low to the ground. 
Less trees, more don't touch the rock in the wrong way. Resist the urge to land. That could probably be a skyward. Probably not that one, though. Watch the bow. That mix-up got me. That got me good. It wasn't enough of a screw up to have changed the difference, changed the result. Over by a second. Aspects gray shine down on you. All right, you need to find a full second compared to that run. I think a good use of Skyward Ascent once or twice would probably do it. Nope, reset. I ran into that wall. I didn't turn hard enough. Shouldn't have Skyward Ascented right there. That was a mistake. That was a wrong button. Yeah, I don't feel confident in this one. Because of that. I'm going to continue it. I'm going to finish it. But this one's over. And was over immediately. I never gave up hope.
Yeah, that felt pretty good, too. Only barely. Only barely. The waters flow again. Okay, I'm slightly afraid of the reverse course. Luckily, it starts in the same location. I think I flew over the bow. I didn't see where I, where I was in comparison, because I think I almost whacked right into it. Over. Yeah. Yeah. The Isles have awakened. That's that's almost the same score I got on regular advanced. So I just need to tighten up a little bit. Oh, I tagged that statue. I did get that bigger refill. That's good. I really thought I was going to miss it for a second there. Oh, come on. Oh, it was even slower. Wait, no it wasn't. Maybe it was. I don't I don't remember. Uh Yeah, no, it was slower. It was 0.2 slower. We serve once more. I actually got a decent start that time. This just feels slow. I don't know if it is, but it feels it. No, it was faster. This one's tough. This one's tough. I got the advanced pretty quick, but I think that was just as much luck as skill. Because this one...
Okay, I'm impressed I hit that. I really didn't think I was going to hit the statue. Ring. Okay, I feel like my l lines were really, really clean through most of that. But, okay, well, that screwed me over. That, that straight up, that, nope, done. I feel like my lines were pretty clean through most of that. Um, but I still ran out of vigor. say going through the uh, gazebo in reverse is much more difficult. I will say that. Okay, yeah, so my lines were much better, but I still need to make up we serve point three, point zero three, something like that. We'll just say that I still need to make up a second, because that's effectively what it is. Take that particular turn just a little bit wider. I never gave up hope. Bleep bloop. I missed it. I missed it that time. I kind of intentionally ran myself out of vigor for a moment there. Just to try to get through a little faster. And I think it paid off. It did. Yeah. Cool. Alright, I am actually at stopping point, stop time, but I've only got three races left. Um, now, me saying only three races left, well, one of those races might take half an hour, depending on how much it kicks my butt. 
but I'm gonna try to finish him. I'm gonna try to just finish him because we've only got three races left, which is technically nine. <laughs> Where, where in the world does the rest of these tokens come from? Do I get some uh, Riders of Azeroth badge badges from uh, something that comes after the achievement? Like if I get a uh, Kalendor gold or Kalendor bronze or whatever else, do I get a little? like thing in the mail or something saying hey congratulations and that with with tokens or is it that there's not going to be enough tokens to get all the rewards or is it just a matter of I have to do these on some other characters to get all the rewards that's the worst case scenario because this is very much something that I would say you should have to do with only one character. But I will find out. I'm certainly going to get over half the rewards. But that still means going through quite a few races on other characters. Or at least on one other character. He's up there. He's up on the hill over here. There he is. Alright. Aspects grace shine down on you. May the waters protect you. Let's find out. I saw that under the dock. Okay, drowning me of all vigor for a while there. Is it the same on the way back up? Ah! I'm... Yeah, okay, I'm done. Let's see that bronze for normal flight through. How did I get gold? That I did god-awfully on that. Okay, I have to watch out for this dock right here. It's going to be highly, highly suggested that I hit that dock. Because one vigor can make a large difference. too fast. Okay, got a gold for that. The Isles will now I just need to do reverse gold.
I think I tagged that piece of geometry over there. No idea if it made a difference to my overall speed. That did. I tagged that tree right before I hit the ground. Oh. There's stuff in your way on this one that you just can't see. Well, I can't see. So I've just got to learn where it is and avoid it that way. Like, there's some ropes on that machine right there. Didn't see them. There's plenty of vigor refills throughout this. They probably realize that you're going to need a few when you're trying to go uphill the entire time. But they still gave you quite a few. There's not a vigor refill under the dock. But at the same time, the dock is a pretty clean spot right there. Got gold! So it don't matter. Okay, now we have two on Mount Hyjal. And the easiest way to get there is just to teleport back to Orgrimmar and take the portal to the top. I promise the flight from in front of the teleporter room to the portal to Nordrasil is a shorter distance than trying to fly up the side. Granted, that's only true if you're a mage. Yeah, we got two more races. We got two more races. Not Twilight Highlands. Hi, y'all. Isn't this place so much nicer now that I got rid of the Azurite elementals everywhere? Alright. Waters flow again. Until we meet again. Okay, so I'm flying through the branches of Nordrasil for this one. That's the idea. So, supposedly, with that idea in mind, I would think this one's probably not going to be very long. It's going to be precise. It's going to be fast. Granted, it looks more like I'm going through the roots of the branches, to be fair. Yep, that's that's pretty short. Just loop around it real quick. Isles welcome you. They don't drag you too crazy close to the branches. But there is a lot of sudden turns. At least at the start. Seems like the sudden turns kind of stop after the first little moment there. Granted, 
I feel like I'm crawling because I don't have enough vigor for this. Still gold. The Isles have awakened. I didn't even notice that those trees right there were a threat until this moment. But sure enough, there's a couple trees right over there that you pass by on reverse that you could absolutely tag yourself on. But I'm missing point two of a second. So that's a redo. The waters flow again. You're starved for vigor this entire run. But it's also super short, so I'm not surprised. Yep, there we go. Alright, one more to go. One more to go. The Hyjal Hotfoot. Which... Clearly, we're going down to the uh, Sulfurian Spire for that one. Very nice, please. I do need to go back and do more of that for the Eternal Embers. Granted, I do need to do a lot of things for a lot of stuff. I'm assuming he's sitting right here. Yep, there he is. Aspects gray shine down on you. All right, we're going to start on reverse because I feel like it. Oh, there's little uh, fire threats, so that means uh, this one might have a little more generous of a timer. Didn't expect to come over here, but all right. You could probably make it through that tunnel. I'm gonna not do that, though. Gold! Caldor, reverse, gold. Look at all those achievements. I have lived to see them return. All right, how is this one supposed to be done?
ran out of vigor right there. That's not a great place to run out of vigor right in the middle of those guys. He did it on a reverse and hard reverse and advanced so let's see how it treats me on a normal Oh, there are no hazards on normal. Right. Well, I guess the occasional tree is still a hazard. The greatest of all hazards. Calendor Cup Completionist. There we go. Title reward, Calendor Racer. And now we'll make a trip back to Valdragon. And see, we'll see about buying those rewards. It does look like uh, you're going to have to do multiple run-throughs of some of the races. Which I think is lame. Okay, so we got the 50 reward right there. Pick that up. 25 reward. 25 reward. And then the outfit all costs 20 per piece. Farewell. We see the stars oh. once more. That way you can see the transmog right there. That's that's what it looks like. Okay, and that's five more. That's a hundred tokens. Um, I guess I'll spend tomorrow uh, getting the rest of that. Because I... I need it. I need it. Uh, so, that'll be that. Well, today... We did the Kalimdor Cup. It's day one of release of the Kalimdor Cup. It's done. Turn a uh, two-week event into a two-day event. Alright. With that said, let's go to recap. We are at 30 days. Eight hours on this character. We have finished the Kalimdor Cup. 
that's where all these achievements are. There's quite quite a few achievements. Quite quite a few. Um, one thousand four hundred and fifty six achievements. You might notice a discrepancy there because how could I have gotten all those achievements and only had my achievements gone up by six? That is because different characters and or different factions have different amounts of achievements that are possible for them to get. It's a bit weird. But, we did the Calendar Cup, we finished it, got the title, done. Tomorrow I will still have to do some more in order to get the rest of the transmogs, but I only need 100 tokens and you get 10, so I need 90. Uh, if we double check, yep, open up all the things, go ahead and hit refresh. Honestly, I don't even know if all the things it's updated properly with the Kalendor Cup. Oh, it is. Right there. As we can see, we're at 97% <laughs> completion for Kalendor Cup. We just need enough tokens. But yeah, 22.68% total completion according to all the things. Oh, with that, I'm done for the day. Enjoy.